Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over this very big drop that we have seen here on Bitcoin and how this leaves the chart looking uh, in terms of future targets and how we can proceed here to trade it. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one where I will re re review the uh, action from today and give you my perspective on why we have seen this drop uh, along with how I have traded it which I really hope is very insightful uh, and educational for you um, so let's begin firstly before I go over this consolidation and the targets let, let's firstly go over the drop that we have seen from yesterday's video okay so in yesterday's video we were sat at around uh, 9200 okay and from 9200 obviously range bound with a key focus on Litecoin the monthly resistance and Bitcoin the monthly resistance okay we were looking at that range possibility of around 9150 to 9250 what you can see is overnight specifically we, we got up to the monthly tested it once twice three times rejection 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 obviously a move down and the litecoin chart uh, has is, is exactly the same where you saw also uh, overnight a move up to the monthly one rejection two rejections three rejections moving down um, and obviously Litecoin getting that slight move down before Bitcoin uh, obviously didn't move down fully all the way because it's recovered a bit now but nevertheless in the early morning giving signs for weakness okay so the signs were there you never got above the monthly on either chart okay uh, so that was one sign that you could have saw weakness and, and specifically for me it was the bitmex funding okay so the bitmex funding he funding heavily 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 favored shorts okay so let me explain this the the funding on bitmex basically you had to pay to be in a long position and if you were in a short you were receiving funding money essentially so you're basically getting paid to be in a short on a chart that's already moving down and longs were having to pay shorts okay so it was obviously you know bitmex specifically I'm, I'm referring to here you were uh on the right side of the trade if you were short over the last you know specifically 24 48 hours where that funding has just been heavily favored to the shorts okay so that was another reason why you could um you know a, a possible reason for this move down okay combination of the funding just heavily 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 favoring the short positions and also well, I guess technically it has traded very well. You know, when you look at this technically from a, you know, purely technical point of view here, rejection off of the weekly, okay, rejection off of the daily, rejection off of the monthly, and then another rejection off the bottom of the range, 9,025, got rejected again there before another move down so that is four rejections off of four technical levels in a row so the, the signs of weakness were there um but i don't want to say that today i shorted this okay so i want to move on to i think for me a very educational piece today uh, of why it's important to really, really trade the chart and, and not get overconfident. I know re I, I basically very much so got overconfident and, I, and today is very humbling for me uh, personally and I, and I really, really hope that you can learn from this and obviously I'm being very transparent today. Uh, to this morning, okay, we hit 9850, okay? 9850 uh, for me was a was a good buy-in at the time obviously I'm looking at this with the overall range key level being 8,900 okay didn't want to see 8,900 loss being the bottom of the range uh, so I did buy this morning okay I bought quite heavily uh, expecting uh, 8,900 to hold essentially and we did get we got that bounce off of 8,950 uh, but essentially we did get a, you know an SR flip of the bottom of the range okay obviously in hindsight now you know you can see this and there was that SR flip and, and I do honestly believe well i've recorded this in my own journal so it's not like uh, you know I've, I've myself took something from this i guess but uh, you know i think my overconfidence uh, got to me on this trade and, and this is a, a struggle in trading you know i mean recently i have gone on a very you know let's be honest a very nice win streak okay and and this can affect you as a trader like uh emotionally obviously i, I like to refer myself to uh, you know i can trade very well with no emotions but i guess we're all human at the end of the day and um i do believe i was psychologically swayed on this long by by the aggressiveness that i was in uh because from a from a technical point of view i mean the signs were there that this was going down okay rejection 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 but nevertheless i was buying at the bottom of the range heavily okay which i would well, you know i was referring to as a an aggressive buy entry it really was aggressive the sensible would have been wait till to 9250 was reclaimed which obviously it never came uh, but nevertheless i did buy aggressively night aggressively 9005 uh 9000 uh, 8950 sorry is that um you know that was my aggressive sort of buy and i do think that i was swayed by my winning streak thus giving me overconfidence uh in that trade setup and that's just um one to take on board that you know 
always just trade the chart for what it is. Don't let the emotions, emotional side or overconfidence or even lack of confidence, I guess, for some people get the better of you and, and truly trade the chart. And that is humbling for myself to take on board uh, just to really... Uh, obviously, I've, I've taken a pretty substantial loss off of that move, if I'm honest with you all. Uh, but nevertheless, this is the thing that I want to refer to. Although I took a loss today, I don't let then that affect me. And I will now continue to trade the chart absolutely how I've been trading it for the, you know, for the last nine years. So um, I, I'm going to continue on with that. But I just wanted to really be transparent that I did long that this morning. I did take a loss on that this morning, uh, given in the, you know, it's annoying because I did highlight some of the reasons of why we'd be seeing this move down. Um, but yeah, truly, I do believe it was more of a psychological reason that just, just got the better of me in the end of, of a bit of overconfidence on that of that on that low holding, which obviously it hasn't right now. Um, so I hope that that part of the TA video has been beneficial for you of, of why we need to just purely stay on the charts, purely stay on those charts and not try and... Uh, think ahead of the market i guess is it for for a better word but um you know my my viewpoint on this was that 8900 we could see a potential uh you know key level hold and get a very nice buy obviously if we had moved up from here it would have been it would have been a nice trade but obviously nevertheless for me a losing trade on that um yeah which i do think was heavily favored from that funding uh but you know that that's that's trading i guess uh you do you definitely 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 could not win them all um so now that leads us on to where we are now okay so obviously we've now moved down to uh where was i highlighting this uh well i can't find it but nevertheless we moved down to this weekly level okay so from the weekly we can see the reactions that we're getting around here if we zoom down to the five minute chart a second well this was the channel i was trading earlier i'm actually out of my positions now but what we can see here was we've gone from high to low from high to around the midpoint it's obviously in the early stages we're talking about a five minute channel after a significant move down uh, so they are they are difficult to trade you have to be in and out pretty quickly but nevertheless there have been trades if, if you've been feeling you know been feeling these lower term time frames um then there have been trades on this level specifically around the weekly of 8750 uh, i think that we really need to um Say what's the most probable here in in terms of a downwards move. Obviously, after the after a downwards move like that, you you would generally expect a continuation to the downside. So down flag, uh, you know, a, a a flag and then a pull to the downside again, which would leave you looking. Okay, if you look at this very objectively or non-objectively, you're looking from around eight thousand five hundred being to six one eight, and obviously the monthly here being eight thousand three hundred. If you continue to the downside here, which is for me a close below the weekly, close below the weekly, you're really looking eight thousand five fifty down to around 8300 if, if you lose 8300 this chart will, will get um you know very very bearish you know that you know those perspectives can be um acknowledged in my opinion if, if you start closing below 8300 but in the short term here we're, we're, we're still holding the weekly at the moment okay but uh, you have to just be prepared for another wave down um you know to be honest you do have to be prepared for that uh you know as long and as long as you've got the risk management on your side you still should be absolutely um unaffected by today obviously i've taken a loss but i still have my risk management in play i'm still up over the month well actually we're only eight days in but nevertheless it's still still a good month um and that's all why you know that really that's why risk management is such a crucial part of trading so you don't go on a winning streak and then one loss wipes away your losses that would be really bad risk management so that's another pin note i guess uh but yeah on the short term here i'm looking at how well specifically how this channel breaks so you'd be looking up at the resistance of the last like 8800 okay if we do manage to form a significant low here and do not you know get this four hour specifically close below the weekly then we could in fact head up to retest the lows which is you know as you can see here, the lows are really cl clearly 9025 so if you manage to hold this you could see that relief rally coming into around 9025 if you reclaim that then it was very likely a fake out and we'll head back up higher um so those are the key levels for me nine eight thousand seven fifty nine thousand twenty five. 9025 if you look close below this we're looking down to around 8500 to 8300 um you don't need to rush into a trade right now if you don't feel comfortable trading this just don't rush into a trade give it the night and uh, see how the chart looks in the morning or, or alternatively give it to the weekly close and, and approach it on monday um and i hope that tonight's uh, technical analysis video has been educational and insightful in my on my behalf of how we can look at the chart obviously from trading very well to ultimately making a mistake at the last moment uh you know cost me one one of my trades today and you know i've 
totally okay with that, if I'm honest with you. But nevertheless, I hope it's been insightful and shown you that everybody is taking losses in trading. Absolutely everyone. And, and today I took one. So I hope that uh, hopefully maybe some people will make them happy. <laughs> uh, so I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you everybody so, so, so much. And I will catch you in the next technical analysis video. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please give me a like or a comment down below if you're looking at this now bullishly or bearish. What do you reckon the next move is? I guess, I guess between, you know, reclaiming 9,025 or are you looking at this down to around 8,300 or the 618? Uh, you know, let me know down below how you're trading this. Um, so thank you again and uh, have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant weekend. Enjoy everybody. Thanks again and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.